Hi, I am Olympia LaPointe, your personal mathematics coach. Now, do you remember the order of operations? Hmm, maybe not. I'm here to show you the order of operations. Now, just like a baby learns to crawl, walk, and run, we have the same order of operations in mathematics. We must calculate and simplify per a certain order in order for everything to work out. Now, you may ask, what are the order of operations? I'll tell you. The order of operations are first parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, whichever one you see going left to right first, or addition or subtraction, whichever one you see left to right first. A lot of people always remember the order of operations by, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please stands for parentheses, E stands for exponents, M stands for my aunt, dear Aunt Sally. Almost messed that up. <laughs> so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, right here is an expression in mathematics. Let's see how we simplify it using the order of operations. First, what we want to do is simplify everything inside the parentheses first. So that's every single element within the parentheses. Within the parentheses, we must follow this order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So here, what we first look at is parentheses. And we want to deal with the exponents first. This would be 10 minus 4 divided by 2 squared is 4, and that's times 5. Now, we must now deal with the multiplication or division, whichever one is left to write first. In this case, division is before multiplication. So here, we divide 4 divided by 4 is 1. Now we multiply that by 5. Next, we do the multiplication. Inside the parentheses, we then do the subtraction. And lastly, we multiply our result, which would give us 10. Now, the order of operations is needed everywhere from algebra to calculus. Once you remember these steps, you will always do well in mathematics. For more tips like this, go to my website, mathophobia.com, because you too can ace math.